Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and now in this movie I want to show you how we can create a relationship between two different objects or I should say uh, one object and particles all right what we have in here is our grid that we used in our previous movie what I want to do is go to my create particle shelf and select surface from geometry just select my object press enter and there we go we are inside our source node now I'm gonna move to my attributes set the velocity to 10 and rewind and play and there we go our particles being emitted in the x direction all right with that uh, velocity and that's what i want now i want to make my particles i want to have them interacting with another object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a, a sphere so control click and just move it a little bit and increase the size because i want a, a bigger sphere okay so now that's what we have rewind and play you can see we have particles but they don't care about the sphere okay even that they is bigger they don't care they are just saying okay excuse me uh, it, not not even that they are just passing through okay because actually they are not um, they are not seeing our sphere right because uh, for them the sphere is not existing in the 3d space right but at least in the physic um, kind of uh, method all right let's see what how we can fix that what I want is to create an interaction between our particles and our sphere so what I can do is just uh, go to my um, rigid bodies dynamics and I'm going to make this object a rigid body dynamic actually my sphere is going to be a rigid body dynamic so right now I don't want to use my RBD object because if I select that my sphere is going to, to fall down and my particles are going to pass through well, well actually they are going to pass and follow their, their path what I need to do is create a static object that means that if we create a static object our object is going to be there okay it's going to stay there forever never at least I give it another uh, operation and how do you need those uh, whatever you want okay you are the driver so you have a complete control of what you need to do well right now if we rewind and play our particles they don't care they just pass through and the sphere is uh, f uh, feeling pretty sad about that because um, the sphere is like uh, what am I doing here okay I'm doing nothing okay they don't care about me and uh, it's feeling uh, pretty sad actually so how we can fix that well what we need to do is actually go to our create particle shelf we have an option here called pop, uh, pop object if I select this option I need to select now the particle system that I want to create now one thing that I want to point out is that you don't need uh, you don't have to select the object okay containing your particles because if you do that and press enter you're going to have this error particle network not selected alright so what you need to do is actually select the particle emitter okay the particle uh, system and this is not the grid object so with the particle emitter selected let's go and select pop object and there we go now something happened here and before I show you the interaction I want to show you that inside my uh, dot network my dynamics ne network I have three new nodes all right I have the particle emitter all right and actually this uh, particle emitter is just like the sphere object this uh, static object that is calling or pulling all the information from our other network and placing inside this uh, dynamic network after that we have our obg position and we have our solver for particles now as you can see this uh, solver uh, has a lot of different options okay don't worry about that we are going to see that later but after that we have our merge node and then we have our gravity if we rewind and play that now you can see that we are having some kind of interaction actually we have interaction here but I think is that uh, because the gravity our particles are falling down uh, actually pretty soon so let me fix that or try to fix that so this gravity node is affecting my actually all these different objects but remember because this one is an static object the sphere uh, actually we are not affecting that right now so I'm gonna select my gravity node and I'm gonna move the force here to minus uh, 3 something like that rewind and play and there we go now we have some kind of interaction as you can see how their uh, our particles are bouncing after they 
reach our sphere, okay? And now the sphere is happy because it's like, okay, they know that I am present here. Uh, that's it. That's how we can create this kind of relationship between our different objects, be between our particles and different objects. Now, other thing is that uh, if you can take a look here in your different parameters here, particle emitter, just like we have in our dynamics uh, options. You have collisions, okay? The tolerance between how the interaction between one object and another is going to, to be. You have the tolerance, the volume offset, the physical in this case, okay, for particles, the bounce, the friction, the dynamic friction. So you have all these different settings. Uh, I think you have a pretty a good idea of how you can manipulate some of these uh, options. But if you don't, don't worry. We are going to talk about this later on. And for now, that's it. Now you know how to interact with your particles and your dynamics objects. I see you in the next movie.